German politicians are reconsidering their plans for a permanent nuclear waste storage facility. People living near the proposed site have expressed strong opposition to the idea. The site is in the district of Gora Leben. The, and right now, it's the only location being considered. Residents are concerned the radioactive waste could contaminate groundwater. Environment Minister Peter Altmaier says the government will form a panel to review the plan. Members will include people from environmental groups and religious organizations. They will draw up guidelines to help the government choose a candidate site by the end of 2015. They're going to con reconsider Gora Leben as a possible location for the nuclear waste. Authorities in Germany decided to phase out nuclear power in the wake of the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Last week, we told you about the long and difficult process of decommissioning the country's reactors. But Germans are wrestling with another complex issue, where to store nuclear waste. NHK World's Ivo Tukel reports. German leaders have had their eyes on the town of Gorleben in Lower Saxony for decades. They've considered it the main candidate to host a permanent storage facility for nuclear waste. They've been carrying out experiments there to build their case. Spent fuel rods and other types of nuclear waste are planned to be stored underground at a maximum depth of 933 meters. But as authorities have been assessing the safety of their plan, they faced strong resistance from local residents, like Katja Tempel. We heard the drums get rusty and that radioactive waste can leak out. There's the chance of gas leaks. This place is too dangerous for permanent storage. The public opposition forced the German government to reconsider the project. Last week, Environment Minister Peter Altmaier announced a compromise. He launched a commission that will include representatives from environmental groups. The government will come up with new criteria by 2015 to find a proper site for the permanent storage of nuclear waste. Katja Temple still has doubts. There is still possibility that Gore Rabin will be the storage site, so we cannot be relieved by the announcement. A large majority of Germans supported their government's decision to phase out nuclear power. But at the same time, they are sensitive to the risks of radiation because of the Chernobyl accident. The government will most likely face another protest, no matter where it decides to store the nuclear waste. Ivo Tuchel, NHK World, Berlin. The debate in Germany is being followed closely by government leaders in many countries, including Japan. Officials here have yet to decide on a final place to store nuclear waste. Among the 31 nations and territories operating nuclear plants, only Finland and Sweden have picked permanent storage sites. Global warming and the nuclear accident in Japan have focused attention on renewable energy. Residents of a small village in Austria are making big strides in their efforts to go green. They've built a renewable energy system that's powering their homes and their economy. NHK World's Manuel Kaneko has the story. Murek is a village of about 1,600 people. Using a variety of resources, it's rapidly becoming self-sufficient in energy. So this is where it all happens. What you can see here, for example, is part of the solar power system with around 10,000 solar panels to generate electricity. Or over there, tons of wood chips from the region are used to generate heat. We are now at the very middle of the energy production of this village. Electricity is generated by solar power and biogas. The village even sells surplus electricity to a power company. Timber from the forest near the village is burned to boil water for heating and other purposes in the community. The hot water is being funneled to each home via these pipelines. The system supplies 95% of the heat and hot water needed in the village. 
The project is run by a group funded by local people. About 30 million dollars have been raised over the past 24 years. Any profit from the project is distributed to those who have put up the money. <coughs> Karl Totta is the founder of the energy project. Our program is supported by funding from as many as 380 people. Local people now see that producing energy on their own, rather than buying it, is in the interest of the village. What's important is that we make investment locally and cycle profits back, so people can go on living in this community. Wiener Schnitzel, or Vienna Cutlet, is a traditional favorite in Austrian homes. It also plays a major role in this energy project. Oil used to fry the meat is never wasted. It's collected and recycled as diesel fuel for vehicles. I am happy that we can help our own community while contributing to environmental protection. Used cooking oil is collected in other communities also and refined in the village. The project produces about 250 times more diesel fuel than the village needs. Sales of the recycled fuels topped 10 million dollars last year. Today, it's one of the major industries in the village. Another program is taking off. The village is using solar energy to grow vegetables in greenhouses. This farm supplies salad greens to local supermarkets. The construction of three more greenhouses is planned, employing 40 local people. The village energy project started more than 20 years ago to cope with the declining population. Today it's famous throughout Austria and even attracts visitors from other countries. Manuel Kaneko, NHK World, Vienna.